Hello and welcome back to my channel. I like saying let's get back to the whiteboard. Well, today's topic, as I say, how to use Protractor in Microsoft Windows. Um, before we go any further, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel if you find it useful so I can keep you updated with the latest updates. All right, let's get back to our whiteboard. Uh, yes i have opened whiteboard but here is a problem there is no protractor in uh, microsoft whiteboard that's a little unfortunate they have a ruler not sure why they don't have a protractor well now what do we do uh, so there are a few choices you have you can either install some other third-party application uh, which will give you protractor or you can use there is a tool in Microsoft also that you can use to use the Protractor tool. Um, it's not whiteboard. It is what they call as SNP. Uh, SNP tool is the latest one that they release in Microsoft Windows 10. Uh, so let's see how that works. So what we can, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your start menu. Right click on it and say search and just type snip you will find your snip and sketch app right there click on it there we go the snip tool is usually used when you want to take a screenshot or a snippet of a what's being displayed on the screen so given that there is no way to actually create a blank canvas in the snip and snitch tool so what are what are your options so what are you going to do about it so the way i do it is i have a if you look at on the right side, open it, it does allow you to open a file. So the way I do is that I have created a snip of a blank white uh, screen, which I use as always as my starting point. So I can say open file. And what I can do is I can see here I have it. There we go. So this becomes my starting point for my all kind of drawing work or any kind of uh, changes or drawings that I want to do on this canvas. Uh, keep in mind, if I have to do some other kind of uh, the whiteboard related work, I will go back to whiteboard. But this tutorial is all about if you really have a need to draw something which requires Protractor, you have an option. So you can use Snip and Sketch tool in Microsoft Windows. How does it work? Uh, at the top, you will find here is a little icon which says ruler. Yes, by default, it will say ruler. When you will click on it, the ruler will come up. But now you see there is a little down arrow came up. If you click on it again, you will find there's a protractor. As you expected, protractor is there. How does it work? So here's the default size it will come. Let's see that you may be looking at increasing the size of this uh, the arc or the circle that you're about to draw so you need to expand or contract the circle so i'm going to show you different ways uh, if you have a touch screen you can just simply pinch into the circle and start bringing your fingers in it will decrease the radius or you can move your fingers out it will increase the radius same thing you can do by hover on this protractor and then just move your wheel your mouse wheel and you will find that it will start contracting so that is how you are going to do it so now how do I draw it once you have the radius that you need for your circle once you are settled so let's first draw with our mouse so just bring your mouse close so you will find that as soon as you will click and it snaps on the protractor a line appears which is connecting your center of the circle to the perimeter and you will draw your circle look at what i did i took the mouse away from the protractor tool and see how the line became instead of drawing a circle it started drawing a freehand drawing so let's do Control z and we get rid of it and you can start from now let's see we're going to keep it there let's draw some concentric circles so we are gonna do a little contraction and notice again as soon as i click near 
there we go now this is how I did with my pen uh, sorry with the mouse now let's see if I really want to do it with a the pen there is no difference what you're gonna do is you're just gonna use your fingers expand the circle put it where you want it to be and now you can just bring your pen closer and see no different than what you were doing with your mouse all you just have to do is just keep your pen inside the protractor tool the moment you will take your pen out of the protractor tool it will break the drawing at that point and it will start doing a freehand drawing so let's move this protractor away I just use my fingers move the protractor away now let's draw another circle so you do have some options so currently so it, in this menu you will see now instead of using a pen I can use a pencil so same thing you can choose the color you want Ooh, let's use little blue I'm gonna use blue and same thing keep your pen closer to the edges or inside the protractor tool there you go that is as easy as what you can find drawing using a protractor without actually having to install a third party tool well now you see that the problem is now you, that your whatever you draw now it is in a different application than Microsoft whiteboard that's okay you can save this and then you can go back to whiteboard and import this application import this drawing that you did with the protractor and it will then you can just continue your work in the Microsoft whiteboard at that point well that's all you have to do is using protractor in Microsoft Windows and whiteboard I hope you find it useful um, till next time take care stay healthy bye bye